Mach 3 pendants. There are different configurations of these available online. They're pretty cheap. It's possible to use a game controller to control Mach. I've been having problems on this old machine because it's not connected online, so getting the files over has been difficult. So in the meantime, I bought this a while ago, and it's pretty powerful, but what I was missing was a joystick to move the CNC around. You can do it with the controls on here, but it was it didn't work, work real well for me. This was about 30 bucks, and right out of the box you just plug it into your USB and you've got control. Um, what I want to do in the future is program some of these. There's some tutorials online, and that's what I'm playing with right now. But as far as the operation of this one, it's real simple. Let's turn on our our CNC. And again, you just plug this in, there's no configuration, and you're good to go. So, pretty responsive. To control the Z-axis, you hold the button down, the light switches over to Z and A, and then you control your, your Z. Hold it down again, get back to your X, Y. For the jog rate, if we go to minus, we're going much more slowly, plus, and we're going faster. And again, all of these variables can be controlled online, and that's something that I will be doing in the future. Um, the origin for this, I set this up a few minutes ago, and it'll be good to go there. We've got a rewind button, which I believe will pull the code back to the beginning. Spindle on and off. I've just got a router in here, so I'm not controlling that with the joystick or the software. Feed rate, cycle start, and stop. So, pretty easy to use, pretty convenient. Just showing this in operation, let's go back to our origin. And then if we want to do a cycle start, we just go to our cycle start. And obviously this is just air cutting right now. If we go to stop, we can go back to our origin. And going back over here to mock, Obviously we're into the code here. If we go to rewind, which is that button right there, it should bring the code back up to the stop, and that's what it did, or up to the start. The one thing that this won't do, actually both of these will not do right out of the box, is once you move your CNC to where you want to start from, you can't set that as your origin, as your base on here. Uh, you do have to go back over to the keyboard and set that up there. But again, that's something that I want to program one of these buttons to. We'll dedicate that. But overall, pretty easy to use. I think it's a pretty cool addition here. So, thanks very much for taking a look.